Hi everyone, in today's video we will be learning about percentage. In this section on percentage change, percentage point and reverse percentage, we will be learning how to calculate percentage change and solve related problems, what is percentage point and also how to solve problems involving reverse percentage. Let's start by looking at this simple reverse percentage problem. In a student council, 30% of the students walk to school. If 48 students walk to school, calculate the number of students in the student council. First, we understand the question by noticing that 30% of the students that walk to school is actually equivalent to these 48 students that walk to school. Hence, we can write 30% and an arrow sign, 48 students. I'd like us to take note that uh, the use of this arrow sign over here is to show that there is the representation of 30% to 48 students. Do take note that 30% is not equal to 48 because what 30% is equal to is actually 0 0.3, which we have already learned in the previous section of this same chapter. So in this representation, we either use an arrow sign or we can use a dash, okay? Do make sure that your dashed line is actually longer, otherwise it may be misunderstood as a minus sign sometimes. So do not use an equal sign. As mentioned earlier, 30% is not equal in value to 48. So this statement over here is what we could deduce from the first part of the question. Next, in trying to figure out the number of students in the student council, what we're trying to find is to find out 100% because we're trying to find the total number of students in the student council that makes up the entire whole, and that would be 100%. So what we could do is to first find out what is 1%, where we take 48 divided by 30, and then 100% will be where we take 48 over 30 times 100. So therefore, when we calculate 48 over 30 times 100, we will get the value 160, and conclude that there are actually 160 students in the student council. Next, let's take a look at a reverse percentage problem involving percentage increase. So in this problem, we have after an increase of 5%, Joyce's monthly salary becomes $2,205. We want to find her original monthly salary. So from the first sentence, we need to understand what, uh, what is the percentage that $2,205 actually represents. So because $2,205 is after the increase of 5%, that will mean that originally we are at 100% and with an additional 5%, it now becomes 105% and therefore this 105% is representative of this $2,205. Hence, we will start off by writing 105% arrow $2,205. Then, we can find out how much is 1% that will be taking 2,205 divided by 105. And therefore, 100% will be 2,205 over 105 times hundredth of it. And therefore, we will calculate that value using our calculator and achieve $2,100. Hence, Joyce's monthly salary, original monthly salary would actually be $2,100. We next take a look at a reverse percentage problem involving percentage decrease. So in this problem, it says that if 6% is deducted from a bill, $282 remains to be paid. We want to find out how much is the original bill. So the original bill will actually be 100%. That would be the original whole. 6% being deducted from it would mean that we take 100 minus 6 and that will leave us with 94%. So 94% is representative of $282 that remains to be paid. Hence, we will start off by writing 94% represents $282. Then, we can find out what is 1% that will be 282 divided by 94, and hence 100% would be 282 over 94 times 100. And therefore, 
that will give us three hundred dollars, and three hundred dollars would be the uh, original bill itself.